Theme song. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm slightly out of frame. We're going to be reviewing Domino's Pizza in today's vlog. Because why not? We have some... Some sort of chicken thing? You know what I like about chicken? Like, that chicken could vanish from the face of the earth and it, we'd still be able to eat chicken just because it is the most default protein. So we got... Yeah, yeah, it is. We got ranch dipping sauce. With, Rancid dipping sauce. <laughs> with what were these things ranch. called? Ranch. I don't know. Chipotle chicken Chipotle kickers. Chipotle chicken kickers. Alright. I like chicken. It's hard to fuck chicken up. And chicken with, like, crumbs of shit on it. Mmm. Ranch. Not bad. It's supposed to be spicy. They're a bit spicy. Nothing's ever spicy. There was supposed to be five of them. There's four. Great start, Domino's. I think we ordered enough. They probably looked at our order and were like, yeah, you don't need five. You don't need five of those kickers. You tubs of guts. So the pizza I got... These are my usual cheat days. Was a chef's best pizza. Mine Why? was... Pull... Smoked... Pulled barbecue. Smoked and pulled. Yeah. <laughs> so Gabe had Wait, a... smoked and pulled what? Like bar a garlic. barbecue. Okay, garlic bread. Okay, well I... I'm we have two garlic, garlic breads. Myself. Oh, well, fair enough. Bread. Yeah. So... If I'm gonna have a, like... If this is what I do when I actually do eat junk food from time to time, is I just... I don't pretend... I don't try and go like, oh, I'll have the healthy option. No. Mm. I'm sitting down to eat garbage. This is self-harm in its purest form. Mm. I'm not gonna fucking pansy out. Ugh. So the shredded pork isn't bad. How's the garlic bread? Bread like? I don't think garlic bread has changed in 50 years. I have never had bought garlic bread. Even like the black and white brand shit. Mm. That has ever been really offensively bad. So what piece did you get? Um, well again, in keeping with my general like, fuck this. I'm, you know, gonna dine in Valhalla tonight attitude toward junk food. I got stuffed crust pepperoni. And you can't really describe the flavor of that so much as you describe the texture. Mm. It... If you gently roasted Jabba the Hutt, I think is essentially what you're dealing with texture-wise, because it's a strange combination of the meat, which produces a crispness, and everything else, which is basically Play-Doh. <laughs> so, imagine Play-Doh that's been under the couch, and you've, you've basically got it. I mean, it's, it is globulous. It's, like, that's what it does. Yeah. Yeah. And because I hate myself, I just roll it up into a ball and just go like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> So, I didn't realize how big the order was at first. We got, ended up getting three pizzas. Um, the normal pepperoni is the last one. Um, two bottles of Coke, two garlic breads. So, yeah, that's probably why they didn't give us another chicken thing. Chicken kickers. Oh, chicken Why do we call kickers. them kickers? Because they're not anything really. Yeah. It's like popcorn chicken. Cool. That's not a thing. I believe it's all actually just rat meat injected with chicken hormones. And really, in that case, you know, I'm okay with mm. that. I think we should eat more rat meat. Yeah. I'd eat rat meat nuggets. Yeah. I'd like uh, kebabs and yeah. everything. So. Iguana on a stick. <laughs> and then iguana on a stick. So last week we had our art search, um, asked for art from Splatoon. We received two entries. Um, one a pretty crazy looking Photoshop, which you will see now. That one did not win. Um, only <laughs> that one. <laughs> not Here's one we decided didn't win earlier. Here's there the was, loser. There was only two entries, so to be fair, we had to pick this one. Um, this one came from Jack Mayer. Um, he said, hello, this is my submission for this fan art thingy. Quick disclaimer, I didn't know what Splatoon was until I googled it for the fan art. From what I gathered, is it a strange squid human squirting paint, not ink, on things. So this is a picture of Yati, Aaron, and Gabe. Sorry about the orphanage art. It took longer than I wanted to admit it. So, cool, my friend. You have won a $20 Steam gift card. That'll be on your way soon. Um, send me your details on Twitter. It is if, weird if that it somebody went to trouble for that. Oh, it's cool. I like, I like no, that I'm not sort saying of stuff. It it's like how I've got, like, a fucking joke Twitter account now. Yeah. Oh. Which isn't me. I know. I, it's I, got I more followers like than me. <laughs> I do... One thing I really want to do, because it's called Gabriel Morton Facts, I want to start an account called Gabriel Morton Facts Facts, <laughs> which is facts about the person who runs the Gabriel Morton Facts account. 
and how they were initially an infected toe that I had removed. Um, that's a fact. That's true. That's where that, that's where that individual came from. Uh, they achieved personhood in 2008. Yeah. Um, avid Rand Paul supporter. Weirdest thing. <laughs> uh, don't know why. So um, yeah, that's, that's been fun. He's gone hmm. off and started a life of his own. Fantastic. Uh, still doesn't have eyes. Gets about <laughs> by a form of echolocation. It just um yeah, he, the the toe pulses and it sends out kind of <laughs> yeah. It's like imagine if you jammed like a mute into a whale and made it sing. You're getting kind of that effect. It's mm. just, <laughs> and it just sort of you know, it makes itself aware. Mm. Um, it doesn't leave the house much, obviously. No. It's a fucking ghastly sight. So gaming wise, this week we started playing Mega Man. I've been playing Mad Max, which is Mad Max has the best opening stage of a mm. game this year, and then there are no other stages. It has. The mechanics that you get at the very start don't change whatsoever throughout the rest of the game. Mm. And it's really baffling and really tragic. And there are no characters and there's no plot. And it is f it's just heartbreaking. Like, the rest of the game is really good. I'm still playing the fucking thing, just running around going, oh, scrap. That's all you're doing. It's like, imagine, you know how in games it'll be like the, the, the story missions? Yeah. And then the tiny little trivial missions you do yep, to sort yep. of get boosties. And in the middle, they'll be like, you go to each different like stronghold location and there'll be someone standing around and you go talk to them and you get yeah, missions. Yeah. This doesn't have any of that middle. <laughs> Just, it's not there. It's there. There's, you got story missions, missions, and what they call wasteland missions, which are sort of what they pretend are the mid-range missions, but they're not. They are absolutely not. Nothing builds character. This game has every chance to build character. This game has every really, it should. Like, it's yeah. like a Mad Max universe is great for this. And... Just nothing happens. I keep going to these strongholds, and you'll get like, there's the dude who runs a stronghold who has a name and a face. But that's it. And you know what they put all the information in character? into a pause menu bio. Wow. Which is the exact worst form of telling not showing. Because the pause menu bios make the character sound interesting. You know what they're not in the game? Interesting. interesting. It's fucking depressing. I feel like there should be like DLC. Oh yeah, here's a, in an update, you know, we're patching an error, um, added story mode, and uh, you know, put some characters in the fucking game. Because <laughs> some of those, like, when you're first being exposed to mechanics, yeah. best thing in the world. And then, Two hours later, you're doing the same goddamn thing with no change. Mm. So, yeah. good concept. Oh, so, yeah, brilliant! Yeah, yeah. If, if if they bring out a sequel with a story and like characters, and mm. Max is also kind of a dick, more than just beyond the sort of you know selfishness that comes uh, with that kind okay. of thing. Hmm, that's They're trying to make him like gruff, gruff voice, like oh, oh, right, right. I'm reticent to help. Uh, yeah. So yeah, apart from that, we started playing Mega Man. Which is grueling. It's forget. It's not forget. fun. Also, quite funny. I was uploading. I started uploading the Mario Mario Two playthrough, and one of the first things I say early on is when you say get the coins. I said, I no, don't worry about it. Lives are fine. This game is pretty hard to fuck up in. Second episode, like fifteen deaths in a row, chasing a potion dream, baby. Oh, those potions. Wow. Uh, so that was fun. Um. It's not long to Mario Maker now. A few weeks. Really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to what you guys can come up with stages. Have Nintendo copyrighted us yet? No. Huh. Any well, minute now it'll happen. Well, they can't. I can't. I don't, mon I don't like, flag them to make money. Ah. Okay. They only copyright you if you try to make money on them. I love that every fucking Nintendo YouTube is now basically a charity for fucking Nintendo. Mm. Because that's the thing, is if you upload something with copyright in it, like for example a song, mm. it will say, this song has this artist in it. Would you like to remove the song? If you don't, the artist will put ads on it, and they'll take revenue from it. That's how that works. So, I mean, we're just two guys playing games. They mm. don't care. If we were, like, making millions <laughs> off it. It's kind of stupid, though, because that would be like paying, you know, watching a video game and having that... Having thinking that watching a video game is the same as playing it is like thinking having someone describe a movie to you mm. is the same as seeing it. It fucking isn't. Like it really fucking isn't. I think about the only thing you can do that for is maybe like those Telltale games where it's like all yeah. narrative based. Whereas this one's just you can't. You can't. It doesn't translate. There's mm. a material fucking difference. So Nintendo sitting there and saying that like let's plays or reviews or anything really um, are somehow you know affecting them. It's just asinine. It's pretty. They just they just want more money. 
Uh, Nintendo, you fucking weird. That's the thing. Goddamn. They have a Nintendo Content Creators Club you can join if you're in any other country, nearly apart from Australia. No, I lie. There's only like five. There's like the US and the UK and a few others where you get 50% of the revenue and Nintendo gets the other 50. We don't have that here. So, really? Yeah. Huh. What's well, 50% of 25 cents? So we get, we, we'd get like 12, 12, 12 cents 50. Yes. We'd be able to buy a sherbet stick from 1989. Oh yeah, sherbet fancy. I do like sherbet sticks actually. Dude, yeah. they're great. So I was pretty sick this week. I had a pretty bad cold. Um, Fuck off, cat. That's why this this video is coming out late, and a couple of other videos. So we do apologize for that. I don't. No, I don't he care. doesn't care. Uh, but the cat is here. Charlie is here. Hello. Uh, I got the pizza Hello. sweats. So yeah, not much happened this week, guys. There was apparently going to be another Street Fighter character announced. At the end of the week or so, um, I don't which I find surprising because Armika was just announced. So if that's true, that's going to be that's going to be cosmic, man. They're probably doing it in doubles. Like you'll get like one of them. Don't get cat hair on my garlic bread. No, I'm not. That's my garlic bread. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll lick him. It's good. Uh, I have. I've already got the garlic butter sweats. <laughs> I need to get the fan. Yeah, I was going to turn the fan on. <laughs> you can see it. Like I'm glistening. <laughs> I am no joke. Almost like a you know, probably like a D grade Flash villain, mm. like the one that would be hired as a mercenary, sort of in the in the first half of the comic, and then they they reveal the actual fucking you know dangerous one at the end. Because mm. I'd leave behind a trail of slipperiness, <laughs> which would slip the Flash up, and he can't grab me. No, so you'd be moist. Yeah. you'd be so moist. I don't know, moist. I mean, uh, damp, lubed man, <laughs> personal lubricant. Dampen fuse my I don't know. I'll just rub myself with a glue stick. That's what I'm gonna do is close them up. Shut up, shut boys. Alright, guys, so Domino's Pizza. It's fucking Domino's, it doesn't it's Domino's. Need review. If it you're does. eating it, you're out of options. That's you know that. Well, no, there's other options. There's Pizza Hut and there's Eagle Boys. Pizza Hut's the same thing. Eagle Boys is like weird. Eagle Boys tastes like newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> recycled newspaper. Yes. Yeah. Not just normal newspaper. The kids love the green, see? Well, that's... well you got gourmet pizza and that's just very expensive and I don't think that's worth it. It really is. Like if I'm gonna do that I might as well make a pizza myself. I can do that. That's mm. not a fucking challenge. So Domino's we end your review on missing one chicken kicker, not happy. <laughs> Negative one <laughs> kicker <laughs> Would have been five. Oh but we one time four. Gabe was going to Melbourne. I took him to the airport. He went up to the Red Rooster. I don't remember this. You don't remember? This is fantastic. He no, wanted chicken nuggets. That's and right, yeah, he went up and he's like, oh, he didn't know what nugget size came in. So he's like, oh, you know, can I get like a chicken nugget? You know? And they gave him in a box. One nugget. One chicken nugget. Yeah. Can I get, because I went, can I get a nuggets? Like thinking yeah, yeah. I was going to get an order. And he, he gave me a really low price. And I just didn't think, I was like, oh, that's pretty cheap. That's good for nuggets. <laughs> Sat down, opened a box. Because yes, yeah, you came back in to me and were like, "Oh, dude, I just got like nuggets for like a dollar." Yeah, and I was like, "What? Really? I'm gonna go get some." And then you just sat down all happy and just went, "Uh, uh." It's like your brain just twinged and didn't yeah. work. I don't know who's the idiot there, me or the person serving me. I think the person serving me was actually really nice. He's like, oh, "I'll throw this guy a bow. I'll sell him his one nugget." He's clearly drunk. He probably doesn't have any money. He's spent it all on booze. Let's just give this. It's just as well to get some food into him, you know, so he doesn't mm. die on the on the plane. Plane ride back was a doozy. I don't remember it. And I woke up in a different chair to the one I sat down in. I remember that much. <laughs> That's a concern. Yeah. That was a concern. That was. That was a bad time. Anyway, guys, what I want you to do this week, go to your KFCs, go to your McDonald's, go to your Red Roosters, order one nugget. Please, if you can, get get stories, get success stories, get please. one nugget. <laughs> one. I, I need to know if this works. I'm not going to do it myself because I'm not that big of an asshole. <laughs> so it's on you guys. Alright guys, stay classy, have a good week. Ciao!